In this video, we're going to be looking at the 1.5 horsepower Black & Decker variable speed pool pump running at 750 RPM. We're going to be looking at the flow and power consumption. It's very important to note that every swimming pool system is unique. Every swimming pool system is different. So th these numbers will result in different flow rates and different power consumption on your system versus my system. But this still does give you a relative bearing and a good point for comparison. So as you can see here, we have the pump already running 750 RPM. It's so quiet, you can hardly even hear it. You wouldn't think it's moving any water at all, and if you didn't have a flow meter, you wouldn't be able to tell if it in fact was or was not. But as you can see in my case it is, we're at 16.5 gallons per minute, which is a reasonable amount, especially considering we're only using 41 watts of power, that's top right corner there, 41 watts of power consumption, or 0.33 amps current draw at 230 volts installation. Pretty impressive stuff. Variable speed pumps are definitely the way to go, and the power consumption at the low RPM specifically is so low that you can get many long hours for a tiny amount of power consumption, but the amount of flow that you're getting actually adds up. I mean, you can't just run your pool at 16 gallons per minute all the time, but you can certainly have periods of time during the day as low as this, or I like to aim for maybe 20 gallons per minute myself as my lowest amount that I go with, but again, every swimming pool system is unique. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.